Well, back again. Get some more parts. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be upgrading the tail lights on the 68 Camaro. We're going to be transitioning over to an LED package that will work for my turn signals and then also my brake lights, running lights, etc. So stay tuned. I've never done this before, so it'll be a little bit of a learning curve, but hopefully it's not too hard to do. So take everything I say with a grain of salt and it may be different for your application. If you've watched my headlight video, you know that that wasn't straightforward because someone messed up the wiring, but hopefully we can work through this and get it all squared away. Okay, these are the parts that I'm gonna be using in this video. I bought all these parts from Firewheel Classics. I've spoke about them in the past. Right now, if you download their app, you have to download the app. If you download the app of theirs, there's a coupon section in there, and it's going to give you a 15% off code. Now, that's good through like April of 2020, I believe, but um, I'll verify that somewhere down in there to make sure I'm giving you all good information. But this is what I paid for each of the parts. For the 6805 lights over here, those were $34.95 a piece. The 6803s, those are $29.95 a piece. And then these terminal flashers, they were $14.95 a piece. These were all made by United Pacific. United Pacific is also the person that um, made the uh, wiring harness for my headlights. So, good company so far. They've worked great, at, you know, and it's very well reviewed as far as that wiring harness is concerned. So, I believe these are probably going to be all quality. Um, products now with these uh, terminal flashers it's going to give you a pretty good little diagram on how to do that so even for people like myself who've never done this with just a little bit of wiring knowledge I should be able to get this accomplished hopefully knock on wood <laughs> fairly easy but um, it's nice that they got a good you know this is for the three terminal but we're only working with two terminals so it should be fairly straightforward but we shall see all right, let's just go ahead and get into it and see what we can get into. So it's also important to know which set of lights are your brake lights and which set of lights are your turn signal lights and your running lights, so on and so forth. So what you'll want to do is either have a buddy with you or video yourself going up to the car, hitting the brakes, and then also using your, your running lights, your flashers, and everything else because you know you need to know which one uh, to wire your flasher into so that uh, you're not wiring it to the wrong one. So let's go see what that looks like. Would you just look at this? Just look at it. That could be a reason that the, <laughs> the bulb wasn't as bright. Oh, dang thing wasn't even in there. Oh, no sense of putting it back in there well that's at least what that one looks like that would explain why it didn't look as bright now all this stuff is hidden from me because I've got this custom oh, interior for my trunk so I never noticed it I noticed in a video that I made the other day that the tail light was a little bit brighter on that side but I'd have never thought it just didn't have the bulb in there lord this might have been another problem with that bulb it already started to come out too, so maybe that will explain some of my issues I had. So to get to what I got to get to, I believe I've got to take out every one of these little screws to get back in there to put the new lights on. Okay, I always like to test the lights before I get them installed. And if you use a flathead screwdriver on the back of this, I'll show you that here in a second. It makes it a lot easier to get that bulb down in there. But let's just see if it works. This is just on the running lights. We got to ground it too. So we're not having a great ground. I can tell at least the lights are working. So we've got, you know, running lights. Let me see about um, the uh, turn signals. And we're running. All right. So if you use a flathead screwdriver right here in that little cut, you can use that to put your pressure down and then turn it as well. It doesn't say that anywhere in the instructions. I just figured it'd work. Okay, I'm gonna cut the lights out and give you all a comparative look and you tell me which one's the LED.
you a step by step on how to get all this stuff removed. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna wanna remove these nuts right here, okay? You wanna remove those so that you can get this part out of the housing. This doesn't move at all. This is stationary, it's welded in, I think. It's not going anywhere, but you've gotta get this part out. So first thing we wanna do is get the bulbs out. Just sort of a little wiggle and a shake, and that will remove them. Now this one's got little press tabs, but a wiggle and a shake usually will get it out as well. So now I just wanna take my handy dandy O'Reilly's torque wrench or ratchet and get these out. It appears to be, yeah, it's all gnarled up. Somebody's done some messing up on that. Okay, but now all you have to do is push ever so slightly right here and just start sort of pushing this out. Probably should have mentioned that you want to press this in probably at even intervals because if not, it's gonna snag on one side. Okay, let me take you over to the workbench and then we'll look at this. Okay, so now what you wanna do is there's numerous bolts here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You wanna take each one of these, I call them bolts, but they're screws. Just wanna take each one of these out. Now all we have to do is remove this, allegedly. So that's gonna reveal this old deal. We just wanna remove that. Yay, that didn't break. So I'm just gonna rotate that right back so that we can just rotate it right back on here in just a second. Now we get our new LED lights. It's sort of self-correcting. One's going to fit in one and one's going to fit in the other. All right, so that one smacks right down in there smooth. This one was a little bit uh, troublesome on the other one as well, but you should be able just to get it snug and tugged down in there. So now I just need to put this right back on and uh, we will be up and running. And let's just put this bad boy right on back down in there. It's always a good idea too to do these like counter, sort of like you do a tire or a wheel and tire deal. And voila, they're in there. Now we're ready to go back and install it in the car. Okay, I'll show you all this angle now. So earlier we showed it from the inside being removed. And this time I'll show it coming in from the, uh, or being installed from the outside. And that's in. Just got to put those nuts back on the back side of this and uh, it will be installed as far as all that's concerned. Just got to put the bulbs in their socket. Okay, time to put these back on. And when I use this wrench, I'm not really cranking down on it, okay? All right, now that is that part done. So now all we need to do is remove these bulbs. So that's that one on that side. Let's see both these were low. What helps on doing this is using a little screwdriver to be able to get down in there and turn this.
Okay, so that one is in. It is done. Now we just need to do this one. All right, I got my little helper gonna help me. So, okay, hit the brake. All right, all right, let go. Do it again. Bingo, okay. We're gonna try one other thing to make sure we got this other one running. Yeah, push down on the lever. Woohoo! Okay, hit that big pedal again. Are you hitting it? Yeah. All right, turn off the light, push it up. Okay, hit the pedal. Let off the pedal. Okay, push the pedal. All right, stand by. Okay, hit the pedal. Good job, good job. All right, do the turn signal. Push down on that lever over there. Very good, all right, push it up. Now push it to the other direction, straight up. Awesome. All right, back down. The one I've been having you press. There you go, that one. All right, let it go. Let go. All right, turn it on. All right, do it again. Awesome. All right. That's what good help's right. good for. So hit the big pedal. There you go. There you go. Okay, let loose. All right, now press the brake again. The big one again. No, not the one that, the one that you were just doing. There you go. Good job. Okay, so I'm going to walk up there, turn on the lights, and see what we got now. The one that makes the start in the middle, the one that's closest to you. All right, let go. Do it again. All right, let it go. Turn on, let it go. Turn on the turn signal. Okay, turn it the other way. Okay, off. Okay, hit the brake. Hit the pedal. All right, good, good. Let off. Hit the pedal. Okay. Turn on your signals. The little lever. Good, good. Do it up the other way. Good job. Now back to the, the good job. Okay, hold on. Hold on just a second. All right, flip the, flip the other signal the other way. All right, hit your brakes. Okay. Got an issue with right over here on this lot. Okay, I think it was just some grounding issues earlier around the bulb socket. That was the issue was that that socket over here on the left side, it wasn't grounded quite right or wasn't up in there good enough. So that should have solved that problem. But let me go try some turn signals and brakes and stuff like that. So at this time, I don't think I'm going to wire these in. It's not quick flashing. It's not um, no flashing or hyper flashing or whatever you want to call it. So it's working appropriately right now. So I hate to go in and mess with the wiring whenever that might not be necessary at this time. I'm going to keep these though. I, I want to, you know, be able to use them in the future if need be. But for right now, I think I'm just going to not not wake a sleeping dog type deal so we'll hold on to these though i might need them down the road okay we're going to try this with the car running now everything should be good to go but we're going to make sure that it's good to go before i just button everything up and then that should about wrap this video so let me get back in it start it test all the lights again Let's 
try the turn signal. Thank you all very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe uh, for more videos like this. I'm going to continue to work on the Camaro and do some upgrades. I think the next thing I'm going to do for this is upgrade to kick panels that have speakers in them so that I have audio in the front and back. Right now I don't have any audio in the front of my car. So that's something I would like to, to do. Um, anyways, check out the people over at Firewall Classics. Good people. I'm not sponsored by them or anything else. Uh, but just good people If they'd like to ship me some parts. That would be awesome. I'll install whatever they ship me but um, Again Like comment subscribe. Hope this helped ask any questions that you may have. This is a fairly straightforward deal um, I did not wire in the flashers. That's the only thing I did not do that I said I was going to do and I'm just gonna hope for the best and at a point that it starts You know quick flashing or whatever else I'll switch to that, but thank you all very much. Love you long time